Yes, and uh, Centennial played host to the Orioles of Osseo. And Cougars start off on defense, and, well, Osseo going the wrong way. They would have to punt it. First offensive possession, first play for the Cougars. Connor Zolk, the keeper, and he gone. That black shirt makes him fast. Yeah, 56 yards for the score. Ricky Hemrick, extra point, 7-0 Cougars. They did uh, muff a punt, and Osseo got a field goal, 7-3, but Connor Zolk again, they drive right down. He scores from 11 yards out. Ricky Emmerich, extra point, 14-3 Cougars. Second quarter, Noah Larson, where is he? He's surrounded by black like the Secret Service. El Presidente Larson, extra point, Ricky, 21-2-3. Then it's Connor Zolk to Carter Anderson. You remember him from the basketball court. He also scores touchdowns on the football field. 19-yard score, 28-3 Cougars. Opening kickoff of the second half. Noah Larson, remember this guy? He takes it, 89 yards for a kick return touchdown. We're gonna nominate that one. Can't bring him down, even with the Secret Service. Hail to the Chief. Left behind, like El Jefe. He scores, extra point Ricardo, 35-3 Cougars. Then Zach Osmek, whoo. One carry, one touchdown, one oxygen tank. 72 yards <laughs> for Osmek. Ricky, the extra point. It's all standard 40, equipment. 42, 3, yeah. 42-10, uh, the final score for the Cougars. They took care of business early, and they got filing on the paperwork right away. And Zolk, a nice game for him. 134 yards and two scores on the ground. Also 99 yards, so close to 100 yards passing, but also a touchdown and interception. And Noah Larson, good game for him. He had that kick return touchdown along with 70 yards rushing in the touchdown. And, uh, yeah, Cougars look good. Consistent. 14, yeah. 14, 14, and it's over by the fourth. You don't need yeah. 14. Exactly. I like it. Way to go, Cougars. And so now they have their sights set on, yes, that's right, the Blaine Bengals. This upcoming Friday, the 5th, that's going to be, if you can believe it, our game of the week. Yeah. What a shock. We're really going out on a limb. Yeah. That's a shocker. Uh, Centennial, uh, I believe it was what, 29-28? They pulled it out last oh, year. Right, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. In o was that, wasn't that overtime? That was, was, yeah, uh, that was overtime yeah. at Centennial. So, uh, you know, maybe we'll have one of those games again. We'll see. We can hope for the best. <laughs> I, that Blaine defense. <laughs> we, want, we want a close yeah. game. We want, that was good TV right there. Obviously, the Cougar defense was, uh, was good, too. So, maybe. I mean, we saw a lot of points scored in both their last two games, but it might be the defense steps forward and decides Friday's game. Yeah, Someone's got to give right now the Bengals number two in the state. They're 5-0 and overall 3-0 and in conference. So Centennial could make a move if they could uh, find a way That'd be a big to one. beat them Bengals. That would help them out as far as seeding wise you would think too when it comes to the uh, the all 32 tournament as well. Absolutely. I think uh, there's several teams there that you just saw. They're going to be uh, fighting all the way to the last game uh, for positioning for playoffs.